Breaking news out of Newport, where fire crews are battling a large fire at the Wayfinder Hotel. I'm Shannon Heggie. I'm Mike Montecalvo. The call start, first started coming in around 8 o'clock tonight, and as the fire grew, so did the response. As of right now, at least four alarms with multiple communities on scene trying to knock this fire down. Now, the hotel is on Admiral Calpas Road across from the old Newport Grand Casino. This is a map to give you a better idea of where it is. Let's head out live to 12 News reporter Sheena Loshudo, who just got an update on the scene from the fire chief. Sheena? Exactly. We just spoke to the fire chief about 10, five minutes ago. He says, thankfully, everyone is okay tonight. Now, crews are working to tackle this fire once and for all. When we first got here in Newport today, flames were ripping through the roof here behind me. Witnesses say first they saw a lot of smoke, then rapidly this all turned into fire. Here's a closer look at the flames we took earlier. Dozens of firefighters from several departments are here working tonight, while dozens of hotel guests and and community members are waiting outside with us. Many are heartbroken by this damage rocking this hotel business that many people say is just a community staple here. When I got here, um, I saw smoky conditions uh, and I saw the guy sticking the ladder to the roof from ladder two and they uh, were smashing windows out and um, and they were just getting ready to ventilate the, uh, the building. So this place has been in our community for years, and um, a lot of local people work here for a lot of years, and um, a lot of people who share the industry come here, eat here, work here. Um, this is devastating to our community. Clearly, this is still a very active scene tonight here in Newport. We see and smell smoke in the air over here. Now, the fire chief tells us the fire is still under investigation. It's too soon to say what caused this fire here tonight, but there is a lot of damage to assess over here. But thankfully, again, no one was hurt. Reporting live in Newport, I'm Sheena Lushudo, 12 News.